so again we will start with the our virtual lab so put the required credential and enter into the software so after entering into the software you need to find it where is the experiment Where is the experiment uh, elevated plasma so the use of the drug is in the elevated plasma so enter next page so you read the uh, enable add of flash player so I'm just allowing next okay here it will show so virtual lab elevated so click start so click so here already it is written the uh, you can say that thing so uh, principal and the introduction part already have discussed say generally arms are the 10 into 50 centimeter and height is the 55 centimeter from the base clear from the base it is the 55 centimeter and each arm is the 10 into 50 centimeter so click principal so elevated plasmid is the animal model of anxiety that usually uses rodent to screening the test as a proactive anxiolytic and uh, um, uh, com uh, compound so these are the already we have discussed so let's start with the experiment so generally we are keeping the animal to explore the mice so say whenever actually doing the practical for the research purpose and all first we have to uh, do some trial clear we have to do something because uh, first if you keep the animal animal do not know that uh, 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 what is the maze uh, he, uh, they do not have any idea about the newly um, a new maze so first we have uh, run some trial and then we are going for the experiment but of course as it is a virtual lab so there is uh, no need of the trial run but in experiment we need to do the trial run start so this is the closed arm this is the open arm so click here start part one click one control without drug again click to pick the mice click here so i'll just see animals are there to proceed further click here again you should click it now you can find that this is the video reloaded video it will it is running animals are moving and here two things we need to uh, record how many times animals are present into the open arm total time and how many times it is present into the closed arm clear how many time it is present in the closer and number of entries for example number of entries means it will enter how many times into the closer and how many times into the open arm so it is now entering into the closed arm so total time it is spanned into the closed arm total time it is spanned into the open arm and number of entries clear number of entries in open arm and in close arm that too is required to note before drug admission so click here to proceed so you can say as we have told that that we need to note it down second part was injected intraperitoneally into a rat so drug it was given to the experimental animal was injected intraperitoneally into a rat so you can find that how we are giving the uh, drug to the 
animal let's do here mostly we are using the mice we can uh, using the mice here though it is showing the red but uh, generally we can check into the mice So after that again we can find that how many times after the drug administration now depends upon the drug if you are giving the CNA stimulated drug you will find the one type of the effect if you have uh, given the CNA depression drug then you may find the different type of the effect so but in all the cases we need to record the number of entries and total time span by the animal. So look the observe, observe the animal behavior and record the time total time and number of entries. click so again so this is the experiment and result percentage change so percentage change just a minute so this is the percentage change thing and this is the interference and and discussion discussion will